have ideas, we have sometimes visions, but we need to confront it with the reality of operations and to discuss it with air chiefs, with commanders, with pilots, people who day to day are confronted with the limitation of the system is a great opportunity. There is the right kind of people that we want to meet. There is the senior decision makers, policy makers. It's the industry when you design the new fighter aircraft or modified fighter aircraft that will come into service. And of course, we, 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 we will need to meet these people to present on our ranges or to stage advanced training and exercise opportunities. You have some really fruitful discussions um, that are touching on subjects like European strengths, uh, future battle space and military aviation. And as an ex-military aviator, um, I really see this as a perfect bridge between industry and military. The reality is in today's environment, we're going to need that network in the future. I don't know where it will be. I don't know when it will be, but I can assure you that it will happen. The question is, uh, will we be ready to build coalitions of the willing and to engage in a way that's most effective to meet our objectives? This idea of uh, working together to make sure that the peace uh, is uh, going to be there in the future generations uh, makes us to talk the same language and to understand very well this level of integration that we are reaching. International Fighter 2018 is Ocean Software's second visit, uh, but this time as a sponsor. Uh, so we brought uh, four of our global team uh, to the event this year. And Ocean Software is an Australia-based uh, defence technology company. And so for us to participate in this event is crucial to be able to engage at an international level. We can come to one spot but see multiple customers, you know, prospective air forces. We don't have to make that global journey. And it's quite interesting to see that the key topics uh, emerging as you know, data fusion, big data, and of course that's where we can step in as an SME to add value to the uh, Tier 1 OEMs who are supplying the platforms, but of course the Air Forces who have to be able to aggregate and manage the way in which they operate, both on the front line and in the training system. We have uh, solutions to enable those Air Forces to operate more efficiently and to deliver more capability and readiness. Lockheed Martin has been here for two years. Again, great venue. We love Berlin as we work with the German government uh, for the F-35 to be a possible Tornado replacement. Plus, Berlin's just a beautiful venue to be at. So, yes, expect us back next year. <laughs>